I am the guest artist of the YouTube Artist Collective in June. I can't believe it. After participating countless times, eight times, it was eight times. <laughs> Unofficially, I can be a real member for one month. Let's note this extremely important event in my calendar so that I have enough time for prep. Crap, we are on vacation that time and two weeks before too. And there is no time left to pre-record this video. Oh no! Okay, just breathe. I just have to bring some of my art supplies with me then. No need to panic. I don't know what to draw yet, so I better take more than less art supplies with me through that trip. Okay, I'm prepared for everything now. Let's go. Hey there, welcome back on my channel and great to see you here today. So the theme for this month YouTube Arzus Collective Round is Masquerade Ball. I guess after two years everyone in the art community has understood what the YouTube Arzus Collective is. If not, just check out the description box below. After I did some quick studies of masks and finding out that I'm really afraid of these Venetian masks, I decided to do Japanese masks instead. I did a little thumbnail and I really like to divide my thumbnails into half horizontally and vertically so that I know where to position my final drawing on the paper. I didn't record my pencil drawing process because this step I love to do in a comfy position on my couch. As you can see, I changed the mask a bit and normally I would jump right into the coloring process because I'm too lazy to do color studies. But I was really nervous doing this piece. So I decided to do some and I preferred the version with her hair being brown and the background being blue. So let's get started. It would have been better to draw this piece on a bigger sheet of paper, but this Kensen mixed media sketchbook was the only paper that I brought with me, so I worked with what I had. Otherwise I might have drawn the hair a bit more differently, but I also like the sketch in that way you can see on screen. Generally I had so much trouble coloring this artwork simply because I was too nervous. Normally I just pick my two colors and start right away with the artwork. But even with the color studies I wasn't really sure and that's why I changed the colors several times. But this you will see later. If you like to get some tips for painting with watercolors you can check out my watercolor tutorial which is linked in the upper right part. Initially I wanted the background color to be very flat. But doing this with watercolors isn't that easy. So I went on to the hair and at the beginning I planned to do a gradient in her hair, starting from a light orange and going to a brown at the hair ends. But then I went to dark and so I changed my plans and colored her hair a bit differently. My color palette is a mix of my favorite Schminke watercolors and also some watercolors which are already over 10 years old. And I used the brown tone of that old Rubens watercolor set and I guess that wasn't the best idea. You can see little grainy elements on her hair and I think this happened because of my brown tone. I need to test that again, but I don't really like how that looks and I will probably remove that brown tone from my watercolor palette. Mm -hmm. 
After I finished the hair part, I just did some layers in her face. Uh, there isn't much to say about these steps. I'm really uncreative and lazy when it comes to draw clothes. And so this part is the one that could be improved most in my drawing here. But I'm happy that it doesn't look that bad that the whole drawing suffers because of that. So everything is fine, I guess. Generally, uh, this is not the typical picture that I have in mind when I think of masquerade ball. I'm thinking of a fancy party setup with many people in one picture and all dressed with pompous, pompous <laughs> dresses and suits and wearing Venetian masks. I simply decided to draw that one creepy guest that can be found on every party. Her hair floats basically like smoke and the masks are all alive. She is that mysterious and strange woman that talks to no one and just stands there and stares at the other guests and all the other guests are a bit afraid of her. So yeah, that's my picture here. Thanks again to the YouTube Artists Collective for letting me part of their collective this time. I'm now checking out their creations and if you enjoyed my video, please consider subscribing to my channel for more weekly art videos. And don't forget to activate that bell thing, otherwise you are subscribed to my channel but YouTube doesn't show you any of my videos in your subscription feed. Bad YouTube. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I see you next week. Bye bye.